Certainly. Here's a detailed comparison between ants and spiders. Ants belong to the order Hymenoptera, which includes bees, wasps, and ants. They are social insects, living in colonies with a highly organized structure. Ants typically have three body segments, head, thorax, and abdomen. They have six legs and are characterized by elbowed antennae. Ants communicate through pheromones, chemical signals that convey information about food sources, danger, or colony status. Ant colonies exhibit complex organization with distinct roles like workers, soldiers, and a queen. Ants are omnivores, feeding on a variety of foods, including nectar, other insects, and sugary substances. They are known for their ability to work together in coordinated efforts, such as foraging, building nests, and defending the colony. Ants build nests in a variety of locations, including underground, in trees, or within structures. The nest typically consists of chambers for brood rearing, storage, and a central location for the queen. Spiders belong to the class Arachnida and the order Uraniae. Unlike insects, they have two body segments, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. Spiders have eight legs, fangs for injecting venom, and silk-producing glands. They lack antenna and have simple eyes, usually ranging from six to eight. Spiders are known for producing silk, which they use for building webs, creating egg sacs, and as a safety line. The silk is produced by specialized glands called spinnerets, located at the rear end of the abdomen. Most spiders are carnivorous, preying on insects and other small arthropods. They use venom to immobilize or kill their prey before consuming it. Female spiders lay eggs, often encased in silk, to form an egg sac. Spiderlings hatch from the eggs and undergo molting as they grow into adults. Ants have six legs, while spiders have eight legs. Ants have three body segments, head, thorax, abdomen, whereas spiders have two, cephalothorax and abdomen. Ants have elbowed antenna, which spiders lack. Spiders produce silk for various purposes, while ants do not produce silk. Ants are highly social insects living in colonies with organized structures, while most spiders are solitary. Spiders use venom for predation, whereas ants primarily use their jaws, mandibles, for defense and capturing prey. Ants build nests for colonies, often in complex structures, while spiders build webs or burrows for solitary living or reproduction. It's essential to note that both ants and spiders play crucial roles in ecosystems, contributing to pest control and nutrient cycling. They have fascinating adaptations that have allowed them to thrive in various environments. Determining which is more dangerous between ants and spiders is context-dependent and largely depends on the species being considered. Both ants and spiders can be beneficial in various ways, but some species possess characteristics that may pose risks to humans or other animals. While most ant species are not harmful to humans, some, like bullet ants, have powerful stings that can cause intense pain. Certain ant species are known for aggressive behavior, especially when defending their colonies. Some ants, like army ants, can swarm and attack in large numbers. Most spiders are harmless to humans, and their venom is not potent enough to cause significant harm. There are venomous spiders, such as the black widow or brown recluse, which can cause discomfort or more severe reactions in humans. Spider bites are generally rare, and fatalities from spider bites are extremely rare. In summary, the danger posed by ants or spiders largely depends on the specific species and the context of interaction. It's important to note that the vast majority of ants and spiders play essential roles in ecosystems and are not harmful to humans. However, caution should be exercised when dealing with venomous species and individuals with allergies or compromised immune systems should seek medical attention if bitten. Additionally, proper identification of species is crucial for accurate risk assessment.